Hey guys, I like to start off with my Ever Matte Poreless Primate Perfector and this basically targets all your oil prone areas and acts like a liquid blotting paper that leaves your skin fresh and I really like to put this on before I apply my foundation. What I like to do is take my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in the shade Sienna and my buffing brush from Real Techniques to apply my foundation flawlessly. You guys know I love blotting my foundation. I do not like sweeping it and I really think this technique is effective and it gives it a flawless finish. I'm supposed to do my eyebrows first, but I totally forgot. But <laughs> we're going to continue and we're going to highlight or conceal all of the areas where the light hits, which is um, triangles under my eyes, my chin, my nose area, and everywhere where I think that there's a problem that I can definitely conceal with this LA Girl Pro Concealer. You guys should get yourself one because it's only $2.99 in your local drugstore or beauty supply and this thing is amazing. With my beauty butter, this is the most important step ever to having flawless makeup is to blend all of the areas that we conceal and we're gonna keep on blending until it's completely flawless nobody wants to look like a hideous monster stepping outside so we're gonna go ahead and blend 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 just keep blending until everything is nice and blended and that way you don't have any harsh lines along your face the brows that I forgot to do I'm going to take my NYX micro brow pencil in the shade I believe it's black and I'm just going to do a quick little brow thing you know I'm just going to line my brows brush them out with the spoolie and basically it's quick and easy again if you want a brow tutorial you can comment down below and I'll be sure to make a video on how I do my brows Next, we're going to contour, and I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Pit in the shade Carob to enhance my cheeks, my nose, and give me a soft contour look. I do not want something dramatic for this look. I just want something soft to go along with the tropical theme. Just like with our concealer, we're also going to blend out our contour and I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush and we're just going to go ahead and blend that out as much as we can that we can, you know, have the flawless finish that we want. With the Beauty Blender and the NYX Color Correcting Powder in the shade Banana, we are going to bake. I just bake under my eyes, um, right under my contour, my nose area, my chin area, all the places where I put the concealer previously to bring out the contour and to set everything in place.
finished baking, I'm going to prime my eyes and I use the NYX eyeshadow base and I put a little bit of this all over my eyelids and it will keep the shadows from bleeding or from coming off and it makes it last all day and I really love this stuff. In my tropical shimmer palette, I take a yellow shimmery, gold shimmery, however you want to call it, color, and I put that as the base on my main lid. Next, I take a light blue color and I put it on the outer corner of my lid. And I'm going to use this purpley bluish color that from the same palette that I'm going to blend out with. This can also be used as a transition shade if one might say, but I'm going to use this to create the tropical look which will bring everything together. And I really like the way these colors coordinate with each other because it's really colorful and vibrant. it off all of the powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my liner I use my NYX gel liner and I use an angled liner brush to make a small wing we don't want it too dramatic once again we want this to be soft and subtle highlighting is definitely my favorite part of the whole makeup look and I use my Becca shimmering skin perfected press in the color opal and i love this thing it is amazing look at that just gorgeous i use your favorite setting spray mine is urban decay and we are done yes